Hello, it is currently Sunday afternoon and I'm in Pennsylvania. I left this morning at 6 a.m. because there's supposed to be a storm coming through. So I left super early so that I could get ahead of the storm. And it's been good. It's been a really smooth drive, no traffic. But now it's like 3.30 and I am so tired. I'm almost there though. I'm like 20 minutes away. But it's always like the first hour and the last hour or two that are the worst. But there's like no one on the road over here. I'm gonna be up here for at least the next two weeks. I'm visiting for Christmas slash New Year. miles, keep left onto Pennsylvania 33 North. I'm here visiting for Christmas slash New Year's. And I'm gonna be staying at my boyfriend's house. But he lives like down the street from my parents. I'm gonna try my best to vlog as much as I can these next few days. But I also want to be in the moment obviously but i'm gonna focus on driving and i will see you later good morning welcome to my kitchen today we're making coffee with a percolator like it's 1986 Gotta take this. Hello. It's currently Tuesday. I got up to Pennsylvania Sunday afternoon. It was a good smooth drive. If you saw my last vlog, I was talking about how there was a storm that was supposed to be passing through. So I left really early Sunday so that I could be ahead of the storm. And I'm so glad that I did because Monday morning I woke up and it was so flooded and it was absolutely pouring and there were a few roads around here that were actually closed on monday because they had flooded so i'm glad that i left when i did because the drive was super smooth i didn't hit any traffic or any issues it was dry for most of the drive which was great but i am at my boyfriend's house which is also the house that i used to live in before i moved to north carolina so he is currently downstairs making dinner and i'm gonna wrap some presents Okay, the presents are all wrapped. It's so weird. I can't believe that Christmas is less than a week away. And it's still, I don't know, it just still doesn't really feel like it. But anyway, um, yesterday I didn't vlog anything because I just spent the day with my mom. She took off the day from work and we just, you know, had a mother-daughter day. It was nice. But I have been suffering. My allergies have been so bad since I got here. Cause I feel like anytime I just get like bad allergies year round and anytime I change location, like if I ever go out of town, I usually cannot breathe out of my nose for the first few days. So I've just been like living off of allergy medicine. It also, I feel like doesn't help that it's a lot drier and colder up here right now. But we're just gonna have a chill night. It's already almost 8.30 now, so. I think we're just gonna eat dinner and probably watch a movie that's what we've been doing the last two nights in a row and it's just so nice it's nice to be together in person and just get to spend quality time together and benny is super happy to be back with his dad are you happy are you happy okay come on go on go go just like the old days, comment down below if you remember watching my vlogs back when I lived here. It's currently Thursday afternoon. Sorry that I haven't been vlogging very much since I got up here. We haven't been doing anything exciting, honestly. It's just been like a lot of sleeping in, watching movies all day, <laughs> just like hanging out in sweatpants. It's freezing outside, so you're not missing out on anything super exciting. But I am getting ready because we're gonna go out 
and get sushi and we're also going to be celebrating because he got his final grades in for the semester and he did really well got all a's and b's where are you going what where are you going oh. well i'm done now so and i'm super excited because i ordered a bunch of jeans from abercrombie and they got delivered today so We'll do a little try on because I'm not planning on keeping all of them. It's just hard. Like it's tricky ordering jeans online because you don't know how they're going to fit. So I got a few different colors and styles. So we'll do a try on and see which ones I like, which ones I'm going to keep. An update on the Tartlet tubing mascara. I really like it. I feel like it's just as good as the Thrive one, but like since I can buy this in store, I'm probably just gonna keep repurchasing this one. So pretty. Got takeout instead. Record this for tomorrow, and then tomorrow when we go to Lily's. We're going tomorrow? Yeah, fuck it. Okay, we'll go tomorrow instead. We used to get this all the time. I used to live above this place. Chicken and rice platter so good and we got some hummus under here with pita and some salad so good you spilled your fries okay time to do a little abercrombie jean try on probably not the best idea to do after i just ate because <laughs> i feel kind of full but okay so the first pair that i have is the loose I got it in the black denim and I got these in a 29 short because I am 5'2 and typically right now an 8 is about true to size depending on the brand and you know what it is. These fit pretty well. They feel a little bit tight right now because they're not stretchy but I'm super full right now like I said and I feel like denim always when you first put it on you know it's a little bit tight and then as you wear it it kind of loosens up. I think these are cute. I like that the legs are a little bit more wide. Okay, then these are the 90s relaxed in a 29 regular. These feel like they are completely smushing my butt. And there's like some gapping in the back here. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about these. They feel tight in all the wrong places and then like loose in the wrong places. And I think the short length definitely fits me better because these are a little bit too long. These are the same ones in 90s Relax in the same size, 29 regular. They're just in a different wash. It's crazy how they're the exact same pants in the exact same size and cut and everything. But these, I feel like, fit so much better. There's not as much gapping. It still feels a little bit loose back here, but not as bad as the black. And I feel like these have a little, like they feel a little more forgiving. I don't love this color of denim though. They just look super, super blue. I don't know. I prefer either like a lighter wash or just black. So these are, oh no. So these are the 90s relaxed again in a 29 short, but these are the curve love ones. Yeah, these feel so much better. Like the cut, I feel like just hugs my body better. It's not smushing my butt. <laughs> and there's not a bunch of gapping back here. I feel like it just hugs my curves in all the right places. I like this wash of denim better too. And the short length is like the perfect length for me. So I think these are gonna be a keeper, but I do wanna try. I got these exact same ones in the same wash. And same size, again, 29 short, but these are the regular 90s relaxed, not the Curve Love. So I just want to see, because it seems like the different washes kind of fit differently. So I want to see which one between these two do I like better. These ones definitely feel a little bit tighter on my hips and my butt. That's what these ones look like. It's a little while later. We ended up watching another movie on Amazon, The Report with Adam Driver. We're gonna look for another movie to watch. I'm telling you, that's all we've been doing is just watching movies. But it's been really nice to just be like 
unplugged for the most part. I didn't even realize what day of the week it was or what the date was and then I realized, oh, this vlog actually needs to go up in the morning. So we're going to do the question of the day. At the end of each Vlogmas vlog, I'm answering questions that you guys leave me in the comments of the previous vlog. So if you have a question that you want me to answer in the next one, which is going to be the last video of Vlogmas, leave it down in the comments. Are the terms teasy lights slash baby lights universal? Can I walk into any salon and they know what I'm talking about? No. So to me, that's the thing. Like these terms, it's not like there's just one definition and there's only one way to do something. Doing hair really is an art form and especially when it comes to the application, it's very subjective. So these terms, every stylist is going to have like a different definition or there's going to be different terms they like to use and sometimes the term is referring more to like what the final outcome looks like. Other terms are referring to the actual technique and the application and I feel like unless you are a hairdresser yourself and you work with the person doing your hair or you know them really well, I would never go to a hairstylist and say, I want you to do teasy lights on my hair because like you can't go to an artist and tell them how you want them to create a piece. You can just tell them what you want the final result to look like. I would be careful with using specific terms because you might not end up getting the result you want. You might see something on Instagram and that one particular stylist might use a certain term and then the person you're going to, maybe they interpret that term differently or they do the technique differently. And honestly, from a hairdresser perspective, when a client comes in and they start trying to use like hairdresser talk to me, it's a little like, let's not do that please because then I feel like there's just more room for miscommunication it's like let's just break it down into like simpler layman's terms so that way we can make sure we're on the same page like don't worry about the terminology I've had clients before bring me specific formulas that they saw on a picture like on Pinterest or Instagram they're like this is what I want and I'm like <laughs> oh is it like <laughs> there's so much more that goes into it like what level you lifted to, what color line are they using? Like, just don't do that. I know that it might seem like, oh, well, I'm making it easier for the stylist, but you're actually making things more complicated. And TZ lights and baby lights are not the same thing, at least by my definition. What I refer to as TZ lights is like, I am teasing the hair. So yeah, you're getting really soft blended highlights, but it's not going all the way up to the root because you're teasing. Baby lights, for me, again, the way I do them is I am going all the way up to the root. So they have some similarities, but they are not the same thing. So when you are going in for a hair appointment, I would just bring as many inspiration pictures as you can, take into consideration the placement of everything, take into consideration the tone of the actual color, take into consideration like the person in the picture what does their base color look like what is their hair length like some clients who might have really dark hair naturally sometimes will bring in pictures of blonde highlights on someone whose base color is already like pretty light and it's like well I can do that application but it's going to look different so try to find hair that is similar to yours with the results that you want and just explain to your stylist i like it to be super blended i don't want the highlights to go all the way up to the root i want it to be low maintenance or i like the way they go all the way up and how the highlights look really small and soft and there's no stripes or lines um i like it brighter and bolder around my face stuff like that if you can find pictures on their instagram page of their work that's even better because then at least you know okay they are capable of doing this so they're gonna know how to get this result if you're showing work from another stylist that might be out of their scope of you know what they're capable of or what they know how to do a good stylist will ask you a lot of detailed questions during the consultation but 
I think bringing pictures is your best way and just use simple layman's terms. Thank you for your question. But that is going to be it for this vlog. I got to go edit it now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow with a new hair video and in two days for the final Vlogmas vlog. Bye.